thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, God. God, we praise you. We lift you up, God. We magnify you. We glorify you, Jesus. God, you are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the honor, God. Oh, God, and we just thank you, Lord God. We praise you, God. We magnify you, God. We exalt you, God. Hallelujah. God, you are so worthy, Lord. You are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. And God, we just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your kindness. Thank you, Father God, for your consideration. Thank you, God. Oh, God, for just you, Father God. Who you are, Father. You are magnificent. You are a wonderful, God. Lord God, and we just want to say thank you for being our provider, for making a way out of no way. You are there, God, and we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for these things that you do, Father God, that we don't even know you do. Lord God, thank you for our strength in our bodies and help in our minds, Father God, each and every day, God, that you wake us up, God. We just want to say thank you. God, you give us the strength each and every day, God, that when we feel like we can't go on, Father God, you are there, Father God, and you help us to go on, Father God. You help us to keep moving forward, God, and we just thank you for the God. We thank Thank you, God, that we have our right mind, God. We thank you, God, that we have a place to lay our head. We thank you, God, for just being there, Lord God, being our counselor. Father God, being our strength, being our healer, being our guide, being our comforter. God, we just want to say thank you. We thank you, God, for who you are. We thank you for who you are. We thank you, God, and we just honor you today, God. God, we just thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. We praise you. Thank you. And we praise you, Father God. We praise you, Father God, for reconciling us one to another. God, for mending, Father God, those breaches. Lord God, mending those broken hearts. Mending those areas in our life where we were wounded. Father God, we just thank you. God, thank you for healing our land. God, thank you for healing our minds. Thank you for healing our hearts. Thank you for healing our souls. Thank you for healing our relationships. God, we just want to say thank you. God, because you are so good, God. You're so good. God, and we want you to know how much we appreciate you, God. How much we appreciate you and how we've come to love you, God. And how we continue to grow and come into the full knowledge of you, God. We just thank you for your word, Father God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. 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 God, we thank you for sparing our lives. God, there's so much you've done, Jesus. You held back that murder. You stopped those accidents. And God, you've done some great things in our lives, God, that we didn't even know that you were doing, Father God. Those advances, those promotions, those blessings. God, those hugs, God. Those hugs, those that call from somebody, Father God. Lord God, somebody calling just to simply say, hey, you okay? Everything okay? Okay, God, that is, that is you. Oh God, we can't think like that on our own. We can't act like that on our own. It's because of your spirit, your love that's on the inside of us. Stuff that you placed out on the inside of each and every one of us. <coughs> God, we just want to say thank you. We want to thank you for our families, Lord God, and that they're okay, Lord God. We want to thank you, Father God, for their covering. For, Lord God, they're all safe, God. They have a place to lay their head. Lord God, they have some place to stay if they don't have their own. They have transportation. They have jobs. They have food. God, we want to thank you for our children, how you protect them, how you watch over them, wherever they may be, God, whatever is going on with them, God. We just want to say thank you, Lord. God, you are there. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for things, Lord God. Lord God, that we can't even comprehend. We may not even understand. God, those things, God, that we don't even know about. Lord, these things that you haven't even revealed to us yet, God. 
We thank you, God. We thank you for wisdom. We thank you for knowledge. We thank you for understanding, God. We thank you. Oh, God, we thank you for the heart of acceptance, God, that we can receive, God, that we may grow. And, Father God, and mature in you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, God, for your very presence. That, Father God, your essence, your spirit, your joy, your peace, your love. God, we just thank you, God. We thank you, Father God, for just being there for us, Lord. God, even when we don't understand, even when we get lost, even, Father God, we may even turn away, Father God, but God, you find a way to pull us back. God, we just thank you, God, that you just say, come on back. God, you welcome us in. God, you don't hold grudges. God, you're so merciful. You're so graceful. Oh, God, we're so gracious, God. Oh, God, and you're so kind, Father God. And even, God, when you have to rebuke us and chastise us, and even, God, when we have to reap what we sow. God, you are still merciful than us. Us us mere men, Father God, and we just want to say thank you for your mercy. Oh God, we thank you for removing those things that are not like you. We thank you, God, for removing that, that evil thought, that perverted thought, God, those wicked thoughts, that ill will. God, we ask that you continue to remove, God, that hate, that disobedient spirit, that know it all spirit, that prideful spirit, God, that jealousy, that envy, that spirit of competition, that compromises, and those grudges, that unforgiveness. God, the spitefulness, the vengefulness, the anger, the wrath. God, the, oh God, that. <laughs> Jesus, all these things, God, that's wrapped up on the inside of us, God, God, that we know, God, have not released, Lord God, we just ask that you continue to remove these things, God, that, oh God, as we confess them, as we bring them to you, as we throw them at your feet, all our cares, God, oh God, we just thank you, oh God, for hearing our prayers, God, our cries for your help, God, oh God, we just thank you, hallelujah, God, we thank you, God, because you're always there, you're always there, Father God, you're always there. Hallelujah, God. And I ask God that you forgive us for murmuring and complaining. Hallelujah. Forgive us, Lord God, for anything else, God. Those hidden things, those hidden motives, those things that we hidden in our heart. God, I ask that you forgive. And I ask God that you wash us, God, inside out, Father God, start in our hearts, God. Because we don't know what's in our hearts, God, and we ask you to go away, Father God. Get into those crevices, though, God. Give into those seams, God, behind those doors, under those rugs, behind those. Clean out all those crab cobwebs, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus to get in there, Father God. And do that only what you can do, Father God. And that's to make us whole, make us complete, make us one with you, God. We want to be one with you, God. We want to. And we ask you, Father God, to continue to be our shepherd, God. And use your rod and your staff, Father God. Release your word, your truth, Father God, that will break every chain, that will, oh God, circumcise our hearts, God. Lord God, it would, Lord God, the double edged sword, Father God, that goes deep and cuts, Lord God, that stuff away, God, that is not of you. Oh, God, stuff, Lord God, we don't even know exists. Father God, even the, the, the roots, Father God, those things, God, that have been there for years and years, Father God, there may be some little vines, Father God, little pieces of root, God, that was when you chop things off and left some residue, God, we ask God that you even remove the residue, God, as we open up our heart to you, as we open up our heart to you, we ask that you come in, Father God, and have your way, Father God, and guide our foot steps, Lord God. Oh God, oh God, arrest us in the spirit, God. Oh God, that we just want more of you. That we just want to be in your place. God, be in your face. Get in that secret place. God, we're asking for you, Father God, to take up residence in us, in our minds, Father God. Oh God, that we, oh Father God, won't even think ill will, think wicked, think you know, sadness, Father God, but we will immediately go into a praise and a worship because you are so faithful. You are so kind. God, you have everything in the palm of your hand. Oh God, every situation, every circumstance, God, wherever we may be, whether we are somebody else's house. Oh God, whether we're in a car. God, you are so good to us. Oh God, you are good to us, Jesus. And we want to thank you, Lord. 
Oh God, for putting people in place, God. Oh God, for having those divine connections and opening up doors and closing doors and open up windows and pouring out blessings where we can't have room. Lord God, we just don't have no more room to receive, but God, we keep receiving. God, because we are giving, God, because we want to give. Father God, because it's not just for us, Lord God. And we know this, so oh God, we ask that you direct us and keep it to you to guide us and direct us, God, on what to do, God. How to serve you, huh? how to serve people, how to serve our brothers and sisters in Christ. How do we love each other, Father God? Help us to love, Lord God, and use that love language, Lord God. Help us to recognize, Lord, in the name of Jesus, how we can intercede, God, and pray for one another, Lord God. Give us an understanding, Father God, that's beyond our years. Lord God, give us some wisdom, Father God, that we can apply. Father God, give us knowledge, God, so we would know how to act and what to do and how to do, Father God. We just need your spirit. We need you, God, to help us in our relationships, God, that we can talk to one another, that we become one with our husbands and wives, Father God. Lord God, that we will, Father God, walk together in, in ministry together, Father God. Lord God, that we would love our brothers and sisters. God, that we would communicate, Lord God, and not yell, not fuss, not fight, Father God, but simply consider what the other person is saying. Father God, I'm asking that you remove any walls, Father God, that may wreck, Father God. Help us, Father God, by your spirit to recognize, Father God, when we're not listening, Father God, and to stop and pray for ourselves. Lord God, especially, God, in the marriage, Lord. Lord God, especially in the marriage relationship, God, that you would help us to communicate, Lord God. Help our marriages, Lord God. Help the husband to listen to the wife. Help the wife to listen to the husband, Lord God. Help them to come together in unity on one accord, Father God, not holding any grudges, not holding anything in our hearts, but just simply releasing it, Father God. Oh God, and one another, God, and they will consider that, will pray for one another, will love on one another. Oh, Father God, that they can walk together, Lord God, in unity. In the name of Jesus, God, I'm asking you, Lord. Oh, Father God, help us to mend our relationships, Lord God, with our husband, our husbands with the sons and the wives with the mother, the, the, the daughters, Father God, and then the relationships, God, Father God, with the children, Father God, grown children, young children, God, Father, help us. Jesus, help us, Lord, in our families, God, that we will come together, Father God. Lord God, Lord God, remove the division, remove the feuds, God, the arguing amongst the family members. God, I'm asking you, God, oh, God, that there be some reconciliation, Father God. Oh, Father God, oh, God, help us, Lord God, to repent, to apologize, to say we're sorry, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I ask, Lord God, that we would consider others and not just ourselves. Oh God, that we would consider Father God. Oh God, that we would, Lord God, take a moment and just consider our actions and what we do and the repercussions and what it could do to hurt. Father God, I ask in the name of Jesus, come into our hearts and help us, Father God, to be healed in our hearts. Lord God, release that old hurt, old pains, old disappointments. Oh God, Jesus, help us, Lord, I ask. I ask God in the name of Jesus that you will help us, Lord God, to remove every hindrance that's in our lives, Father God, to remove everything that we hinder us, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and that we will submit it all to you, Father God, even those areas, God, that we can't seem to get it together, Father God, that lying spirit, that angry spirit, that attitude, Father God, our attitude about things, towards things, that murmuring and complaining, Father God, that antagonism, and Father God, that spitefulness, and that give back, God, and sometimes that anger rises up, God, I'm asking you, help us, Lord God, help us Father God, not to be thieves and robbers and hate, Father God, hating on each other. Father, help us, Lord God, to keep our minds right and pure and holy and sanctified. Jesus, help us, Lord. Jesus, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. I ask in the name of Jesus, God, that you will help us, God, to see clearly, Father God, when we're dealing with situations and circumstances, when we're dealing with people, Father God. Lord God, that we're not hesitant.
us, oh God, hasty in our decision making, Lord God. But that we will seek first your kingdom and your righteousness in our decisions, Father God. When we move and ask God in the name of Jesus that you forgive us, Father God. That we will move too soon, Father God. We will move out of turn. When we don't stop to just ask you, Lord, what must I do? Father God, I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you will help us, Father God. To learn, Father God, from our mistakes, from our errors, Father God. Even in the tests and the trials that we're in right now. Oh God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you help us to gain the wisdom and the understanding and the knowledge we need to gain, God, from right where we are. Father God, help us, Lord God, not to despise small beginnings, Lord God, even in our own spiritual walk with you. God, I'm asking you, Lord God, that you continue to push us forward, Father God, as we walk out this walk, Father God, that we walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. God, in the name of Jesus, that we walk by faith and not by sight. Oh God, that we will war in the spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, oh God, and not try to use natural things to handle what's spiritual. I'm asking God in the name of Jesus that you touch our family members, those that are unsaved, those that don't know you, and even those that have walked away from you. Father God, I'm asking that you, Father God, touch their hearts, touch their minds. Oh God, whatever is hindered, what has them all cut up, messed up, Father God, I'm asking in the name of Jesus, God, that you will pull them out of that place of darkness, that you pull them out of that place of manipulation. You pull them out of that place of deception. Father God, and help to remember, Father God, who you are, how the sovereign you are, and how you know everything. God, that they don't have to hide the sin. They don't have to hide the anger. Oh God, that they can just simply give it over to you. They can talk to you and say, God, I'm mad. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at the person. I'm mad at the world. Father God, and just release it, God. Because if they can confess those sins, and they confess those things that are have them all messed up, God. Oh God, give them a heart to confess it. Because they're deaf, they can just confess that thing. God, you are faithful and just to forgive us of those things and cleanse us of those things. And help us, God. Remove the greed and the sorrow that, oh God, the end. <laughs> oh Father, I ask in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that we won't have that resentment and that bitterness. And that we will release it to you. In the name of Jesus, help them backslider, God. Help those that have walked away, Father. Help them to remember their first love. Help them remember that first encounter, God, that they were just never to be the same, Father. Let them know, God, that where they are now, they don't have to stay. Help us all, Father God, to recognize, God, that you want a holy vessel, a consecrated vessel, a set-apart vessel, only for you. Hallelujah, God. Help us, Lord God. Help us, God, to be sanctified and holy, Father God. Help us, God, to walk away from the lust in our flesh, that sexual perversion, that fornication, that adultery, Father God, and help us to recognize we can commit these sins in different areas, in different ways. Father God, help us, God, not to be so narrow-minded, God, but help us to open it up, Father God. Open up our minds, Father God, that we can get into the depths of you, God, in the deep parts of you. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, help us, God, to dive into the deep, God. Help us to dive in, Father God, not afraid, understand shame, Father God, because you deserve it all. You deserve all of us. You deserve all of us, God, those areas, Lord God, that we have not released to you. I'm asking God that you help us to release it all, God. In the name of Jesus, I ask God. Help us to release it all, God, whatever is on the lock and key. Father God, I'm asking that you take some iron and just do, God, break the chains. Break that lock off, God, and <laughs> come on in, Father God. Oh God, that we can give it all to you. All our heart, all our mind, all our soul. God, I ask in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord God, to surrender all to you. Help us, God, to give it all and not hold nothing back. Holding nothing back in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we want you, we want you, we want you, God. We want you in our homes, God. We're asking you to go through our homes, God, and remove every spirit that's not like you. God, we're asking you to be with us on our jobs. God, we're asking that you be with us in that grocery store. God, we ask that you be with us as we drive down the street. God, we can do nothing without you. We need you. I need you. I need you, Lord God, like never before. I need you. And I appreciate God 
I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate what you're doing right now. The stuff that you're doing right now. I appreciate you, Father God. And I thank you, God. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you, God, to remember every member of our retired ministries. I'm asking God that you touch your people, Lord God, wherever they may be. Wherever they may be right now. Oh God, I'm asking you to touch them in their mind, Father God. Help us in our mind, God, that we can think clearly. Lord God, that our mind is stayed on you, Father God. That our mind stays on you, God. That we meditate on your word day and night, Father God. That we will crack open that word, Lord God, that gives us life. And help us to choose life. God, make that word real to us. Open up our understanding of your word. God, and help us to apply it to our daily lives. Father God, it is our instruction book. It is, Father God what you had created to set us apart that people will know that there is a God help us Lord God help us to be that salt of the earth God that light in a land with nothing but darkness oh God help us Lord I'm asking God that you go Father God and touch your being Father God help them Father God to be the heads of the house like they should be help them Father God to be the leaders Father God that you called them to be help Father God, to understand, Father God, that submitting to you is not being a wuss. To buy a down to you is not being weak. <laughs> oh God, help them understand, Father God, to dance before you is to bring you glory because they're being an image of you, Father God. Help them, Father God, to understand who they are in you in the name of Jesus. Help them, God. Help them to understand, Father God. That submit to you, Father God, their wives will submit to them. Because, Lord God, you will tempt them what they need. You will guide them. You will direct them. And help them, Father God, to have that humility that they will understand that their wife is there to help them, Father God. Their wife is there to be there for them. To work together with them. To achieve what you have planned. What you have destined in their lives. I'm asking in the name of Jesus. God, that you do that thing, God, that only you can do. Oh, God, give your wives strength, God, to hold up their husbands, Lord God. Oh, Father God, let them not be afraid to submit to their husbands, Father God. Oh, God, but not, Father God, to be bullied, Father God, not to be beat up on, Father God, but give them the courage to stand, Father God, and intercede for their household, God. Lord God, help them to be, God, that virtuous woman that you called them to be, Father God. Unashamed, unafraid, Father God, to stand upon your promises or your word. In the name of Jesus, help your women, your young women that are single, Father God, to give their hearts over to you you and not look for love in all the wrong places father god because you can satisfy them father god your word brings satisfaction and all all we gotta do is ask for it all we gotta do is seek after it more than anything else oh god seek after it like it's gold silver jewels precious gems and you will meet us right where we are god i ask in the name of jesus that you will help us god to let it all go, Father God, and choose life over this world. Choose life over everything else, Father God. You even, Father God, require us to give you our children. You want each and every one of us, God. I'm asking God, you even touch our children, Father God, wherever they may be. Father God, that you touch them in their mind and their heart, Father God, that they even would want to give their heart to you. I don't care where they are, God, they may be smoking a joint right now. God, I know that what you can do. I know that you can touch them because I know how you touch me. I know how you save me. I know how you continue to deliver me. So, God, I'm asking you, Father God, to, to touch them right now wherever they may be, Father God. Shake up some things, so oh God. Shake up that gift that's in them, God, that you've already given them, Father God. Lord God, I'm asking that you will call them, Father God, out of darkness, Father God. Lord, you draw them in, Father God, and help them, Father God. Lord God, to understand who you are, Father God. I'm asking God in the name of Jesus that you will save them from the lie. Save them from the addiction. Save them from themselves. Save them from the deception that the world brings, Father God. I'm asking God that you expose it, Father God, for what it is. All this stuff is a lie. What the enemy is presenting, God, help them to see that it's nothing but a lie. And help us, God, to say no. And flee from the youthful lust. Flee from these things, God, that so easily beset us. I ask God in the name of Jesus. 
Help those, God, that are mourning, Father God, a loss of a family or a loved one, God. Help them, Father God, to, to be comforted, Father God. Comfort them in their time of loss. Comfort them and give them hope. Father God, after all the festivities are over, God, and when they're at home, Lord God, and they think of that loved one that has gone on to be with you, I'm asking God that you comfort them. Help them, Father God, to release the pain, God. But as they release, God, I'm asking that you put your comfort and love in them, Father God. God. Oh God, that they will begin to rejoice and thank you. Thank you. Oh, Father, ask in the name of Jesus. I'm asking God that you reach out to your young people, God, and remove that spirit of murder, God. Father God, I ask in the name of Jesus, God, that you will leave. Father God, to men and women of God that would counsel them and help them, Father God, to turn, Father God, oh God, from hate, turn from violence and turn to you, God. Ambassador, that you help those, Father God, that are in the midst of the war right now, God. Those, oh God, that are battling wars, oh God, even in their neighborhoods, after schools, God, comfort, Lord, comfort, God. Jesus. I'm asking God that you consider every prayer that's being brought to for you, God. Every prayer in the heart, every tear, every whisper, every blatant, outright prayer. Father God, everything that is spoken before you, I'm asking God that you consider, oh God, the most shot. Oh, Father God, prayers that's been placed on the altar. Lord God, prayers that's been placed on the welling wall. Oh God, prayers that were called into prayer lines all over the world. God, how best, Lord, you hear the prayers. Oh God, hear your, their prayers of your people, God. Saved or unsaved, Father God, I'm asking you, God. And let each and everybody know, God, that you hear them, Father. You have a unique way of letting us know, God, that you are right there with us. In every situation, you are right there. And God, we appreciate you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah, thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you. Jesus. Oh, God, we just thank you. Because you let us know. You have a way of letting us feel your love, feel your breath, feel your hand and your arm around us. You have a way, God. And we appreciate that, God. Every time, God, you whisper in our ear. Every time you give us a dream. Every time you just give us a simple hug. <laughs> Every time, God. Even when we think, God, you didn't come through when we thought you should have come through. You have a unique way of letting us know you are right there with us in the trenches. You're right there in the trenches. Ah! Oh, God, and we just thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God, for teaching our hands to war and our fingers to fight. Thank you, Father God, for giving us stability and rooting us, grounding us. Father God, and stabilizing us, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for giving us that holy boldness, Father God, to speak your word in the appropriate time. And thank you, Father God, for giving us that holy boldness to be quiet. Oh, God, we thank you. Because it takes just as much strength to be quiet than to voice our opinion or voice what we think. We just thank you for that strength, that inner strength, that certainty, that assurance, that comfort. Thank you for letting us know who we are. Thank you for letting us know who we are. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you do in God, in our lives, Lord God. Thank you, Father God. Stuff that we haven't even told anybody, God, we thank you, Lord God, for seeing about those things, God. For saving us, Lord God, we just thank you. We thank you, God, and our hearts are open, Father God. We are here for you, God. We are here for you, God. Oh, God, continue to shape us and mold us into what you want us to be, Father God. Not being concerned about what people say or what people think. Oh, Father. And even if we do care, Father God, help us, God, to overcome that. 
that we no longer care. We may fall, Father God, but we have the courage and the strength to get up and come into your sakes word and repent and ask God how to be saved, what to do, Father God. Oh God, we just thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for everything, Lord. We thank you for everything, God. We thank you. Oh God, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you, Jesus. Oh God, and as Lord God, we continue. This week, God, we ask, Lord God, you continue to be with us. You keep it. Protect us, God. I plead the blood of Jesus over everything, God, that concerns us, our finances, our home, our children, our family members, our husbands and wives, if we have them, our husbands and wives to come. God, our businesses, God, Jesus. Father, we ask you to guide us even in our businesses, God. As you give us even more vision, as you give us even more understanding of what of you want us to do, God, help us, Lord, to do it and not be slothful in business, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We ask God that you would protect us and keep us safe from all her harm and danger, seen and unseen. And God, anything that was left unsaid in this prayer, I'm asking God that you would appoint and, oh God, give it to your next intercessor, whoever God has prayed for the God. Anything, God, that I may have missed, Lord God, that you want to be praying for. I uh, ask for the God that you, Father God, have the next person, God. There's someone else praying, Father God, that's interceding right now that will follow after us. Father God, I'm asking you, Lord, that you help us and move forward in you in the name of Jesus. And we thank you in the name of Jesus for everything that you've done. Jesus, we thank you for even now, God. And we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Hallelujah. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.